Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grip. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Okay, I think I have enough fitter leaf. Hmm. This'll keep. That should be enough wild meat for Mildiff. Scroungers. Mildiff said I could find another thing in one of their scrap piles. the scrap piles for a metal panel. No metal panel. Better check another scrap pile. Everything I need for Mildiff? Good thing, too. I could use a decent meal. Oh, hi! Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Wow. 
Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. And see what else Mildred's cooking up. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but. Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. I should check in with him. You good? I... I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Arnif sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Ha! Ah. Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh, two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Gotta find those two miners, quick. Okay. Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you here. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft.
made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives upon that truck, maybe I can blast with the garbage. Maybe I can see the past and last. Fire could do a lot of damage. all of them. Now to find a way out of this room. I need to find a way up to those explosives. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. See where this leads. There's the explosives on the track. Just need to get back to us somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Got its attention. Let's go check on those miners. Do 
close. We don't know that. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corbin know his men are all right. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I. I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. First the frost breath. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. Since Thank you, Huntress. Good. Sooner or later, Don't the last someone's make it gonna out. have to deal with him. I just found the thing inside here, Alvund. The brisk. What do you want, Alvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears> Hi. <throat> Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold. At your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. 
The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, Maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Javad said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the hill. See if there's anything in the back of the valley. And it's full of Bristlebacks. Dead Bristleback, by the falls. Gotta check it out. off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. There's 
smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? Bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I have to take them out before I can look around. Take a look at where the smoke's coming from. <coughs> There's a lot of smoke. It looks like mine runs pretty far back. There's a lot of blaze down there. Just to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. We must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think... That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. If I'm going to find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? Go. You always look so grumpy. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway. Right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tolland. 
He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talon making it rougher. This Talon guy might still be in chain scrape. I could have a first. Uh, it's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing, and it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Them shadow cards are taking up speed. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for change great. <laughs> <laughs> More machines on their way. I'll handle the rest. Go, Lakasha. I'll help the Nora. Okay, that counts. All right, Nora. Let's see what you can do. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Guess the show's over. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I... I don't let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation, if he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. 
He's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Okay, now how to climb higher? Ladder must have broken off after Savohar passed through. I need to find another way up. I might trade for something good. <laughs> Broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. the Stormbird. Getting closer. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. There's Savoir. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savoir. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part. 
a ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sign above me. The true sign before me. Show me the way this even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign above me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. <laughs> Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep there. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savahar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. Then give her the Stormbird heart. Holland with the thugs. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora savages or shadow cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Okay, so you clipped a Stormbird. But it's brought you nothing but trouble since. Refugees, squabbles, me. Might be hard to swallow, but it's time to cut your losses, don't you think? Come on, boss. It's not worth it. 
Okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. Hey, this is... Savalhar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest. But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. I I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Could you just not? I am with a customer. I, I'm not a customer. I got it. Triple the powder, it'll blow a strider sky high. Boom, boom. One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine enhanced? Explosive, done in one, machine wrecking. Yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down, otherwise they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fanghorn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. I should have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that fang horn they were talking about. Bye. That it goes. Should be able to harvest its rib now. Got everything I need for Della and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Look at you! 
I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom Boy, this. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well... I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the Eclipse. Now it stands. It's as good a place to start as any. Sure, this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Faint tracks leading away from Baron Light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. <sighs> Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Could shoot it with fire. Should be easy to follow the trail up ahead now.
blood. A lot of it. Wherever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. The runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? on his last legs. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. Yes. What are we supposed to do now? We stay on track and make our way out west. If we give up now, these are for wings. We have to find that. In his shadow, we will find the strength. We don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he's lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. If it weren't for that cursed Nora, the Sundom would be ours. I'm sure there's more of them outside. I better be careful. takes care of that. 
It sounds like there's more Eclipse beyond the Daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. It could tell me where they are. Get a good glide in. I'm guessing that's Rayad. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, not past barren light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But the other officers... They may not be convinced by your words alone. If they need proof, show them that. And tell them this man risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to the right people. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop them, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior.